This could be a good one. Come on. My name's Joe Gatto. I'm a private chef and culinary instructor, and I love to make everything from scratch. Flour starts with grinding whole grains. Butter, moo. You're gonna be milking a cow. Pork chops, grab your bone and knife. We're going in. From breaking down a whole hog to make incredible homemade bacon to whipping up pasta that will blow your mind. We're gonna take it as far as we can, and we're gonna have a blast doing it. So I'm excited. Come on, let's go. Now it's gonna get wacky. Take a cup too. All right. It's probably gonna get weird. Oh, definitely gonna get delicious. So come on, let's get together and make a spectacular meal from scratch. One thing we always do on From Scratch is go to the source. Let it be a farm, the ocean, or even an orchard. In this particular case, it's a dairy farm. We're at Shaw Dairy Farm, right at Massachusetts. And we're here, well, to milk some cows. <laughs> but first, we're gonna meet the guy that runs this place, Warren Shaw. We're going to extract the nectar from the bovine. Warren is just one of the many masters we learn from and become friends with. When did you start working on this farm? Eight. Now, were you milking cows at eight? Yeah, I was milking cows by 10. We also meet artisans such as Adri Lester. We run one of the only grain CSAs in the country. We get to meet farmers, fishermen, and local butchers like Mike Dulock. But you can see just from looking at it, even in this state, where the bacon's coming from. And here's my old pal, farmer Jim Wilson. As tomatoes move to be more and more cosmetically perfect, they tend to prostitute their own their own level of flavor. And who and wants a prostitute in <laughs> tomato? <laughs> <laughs> who impregnates the cows? Wally. Is that a person? Yeah, that's the herdsman here at Shaw Farm. And then Wally? They, it comes in a straw and, uh, a you know, straw? it's a, Yeah, but okay. I mean, there are certain things that you have to do to insert that. Like, take them into dinner or something? We dig into the science of food. And from scratch, we do things a bit different. At 40 to 140 degrees, microbes will rapidly reproduce. When at night, sometimes it's microbiology, history's take on food, or just explaining how to smoke meat in a fun and unconventional way. On From Scratch, laughing and learning go hand in hand. Of course, it all comes back to the kitchen where I show you how to apply it in a practical way. 185, we're there. We have a wide range of guests on From Scratch, and not all of them are experts in the traditional sense. Oh my goodness, would you look at the well you've made here, it's beautiful. Joseph has built just like I taught him years ago. If you see what you want to do. Man, I should, I should probably do this part. Will you grab me a Chianti, Joseph, be a good boy. Thank you so much. The guest list is always changing. We even got bacon. How are the wife and bacon bits? Ha, eat your heart out, Jay Leno. I'm a Tamworth, uh, widely known to be the best bacon pig in the entire world. Originally from England, descendant of the wild boar. I like rollerblading and curling up in front of the fireplace with a nice bottle of Cabernet. Cooking is definitely a craft, an artistry, but what I want to show you is anyone can learn how to do it. No biscuit cutter? No problem. Juice glass. Bacon press. Joe, I don't have a bacon press. Do you have a pan? Then you've got a bacon press. That is the driving force of From Scratch. It's to show people how easy it is to make something they would usually just buy in a can or a jar. That's a good chip. Well, first we're gonna slice off the top a little bit, then we're gonna make an X, then we're gonna blanch them, and then we're gonna shock them. I know it sounds like warfare, but it's not. It's really easy, and it's gonna make the skins come off super, super simple. When the cooking's all done and I'm standing in front of a smorgasbord of yummy eats, there's really only one thing left to do. So instead of me just tasting one of these dishes and saying, mmm, so good, what I did is I brought in friends and family and they're all gonna taste it for me. So guys, please come. This is all cast, crew, friends, family. This is what this show is about. In television, they say, don't break the fourth wall. So we decided to shatter it. Food isn't just something you eat, it's a life force, a ritual, a celebration. Tasting something great for the first time is an unforgettable experience, no matter how long it took you to get to that experience. Excellent. Cooking 
is like anything else in life. It doesn't always work out the first time you try, but as you go through life, you learn things, and then you take them with you. It's never too late or early to learn or experience something new and exciting. Saying it's just another meal, it's like saying it's just another sunset, just another face, or just another friend. It's Leslie. Each one of them is a shared experience. It's beautiful. It's the best part about working on this show. Unbelievable. She's tastic. Good. It's awesome. Mouth-watering. You could almost smell it on TV. You want to buy it? I would pick that for my last meal. Yummy. I said grouches. Ridiculously good. I said grouches. So guys, how are you gonna make your next meal? From scratch! Woo! <laughs> Chef Joe Gatto, everybody. Oh. Woo! Thank you. Thank you all for coming, guys. It was awesome. Interested in discussing sponsorship or partnership opportunities with From Scratch? Contact Rob Sistig, Marketing, PR and Business Development, 401-497-3919. Or email him at rob at fromscratchtheshow.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And uh, folks, you hit me up on Twitter, hashtag Nana Banana. My new album drops next week. Thank you, everybody. Okay. And remember, you can't feel bad when you're eating something good.